The Frankie DeBusk Show is a special presentation of the Pioneer Sports Network. The Frankie DeBusk Show. With head coach Frankie DeBusk. Brought to you in part by Greenville Federal Bank. Celebrating 50 years of service in Greenville and Green County. Applebee's, your neighborhood bar and grill. There's no place like the neighborhood. Sodexo, a world leader in food and facilities management services. Sodexo, making every day a better day. Your Greenville Light and Power System, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Andrew Johnson Bank, a strong heritage, a stronger future. Home owned and operated with locations in Greenville, Morristown, Jonesboro, Johnson City, and Cleveland. Green Coach Tours, celebrating their 65th anniversary. Grand Rental Station, anything you'll ever need to rent or buy. Consumer Credit Union, with three convenient locations in Greenville and Moss High. Creekside Markets, don't pass by, stop by, with three locations in Green County. Comcast Cable, call Comcast and ask about the Comcast Triple Play, TV, Internet, and phone. Comcast. And now, the voice of the Pioneers, Brian Staten. The Tusculum Pioneers and the LR Bears meet for the 14th time, this time from Hickory, North Carolina. Hello, everyone. I'm Brian Staten to be joined by Pioneer Coach Frankie DeBus. For the Tusculum Pioneers, the first meeting between the LR Bears was in 1924. Not many of us around since that game, as the Tusculum Pioneers fell then in Hickory. Ever since then, every other game has been played during the Frankie DeBusk era, where Coach DeBusk had finished 9-3 against the LR Bears. But LR winning last year in Greenville by a final score of 38-17 to and a strong running attack on that bare-bone attack had led by Fred Goldsmith, the head coach, one-time National Coach of the Year from Rice, also from Duke. Well, he's here to lead the LR Bears, a defensive-minded coach. That's kind of where we'll start. The final score was LR 34 and the Tusculum Pioneers 31. We welcome in Pioneer Coach Frankie DeBusk. We all week long had talked about how offensive-minded both of these teams were. One team leads the nation in rushing. One team leads the nation in passing. And LR showed that they had a pretty good defense. Second quarter, third quarter. Best defense is to hang on to the football, I guess. You know, Brian, it just really was frustrating. Uh, I thought we played okay on defense. Uh, and then you watch the film and actually thought we played better uh, after we watched the game film, then uh, we did. Actually, I actually thought we played when we were executing Saturday, but Lenore Ryan is the reason we lost the game. They did a really good job of hanging on to the football, um, not fumbling it, not almost throwing it to us. They didn't pitch it on the ground. Um, it's it's really uh, be becoming a, a, a sad to say and frustrating. But the teams that we're playing are playing really good games. <laughs> And uh, we're, we're playing okay. We're just not playing good enough to win. And it's uh, the same old song and dance right now. But I, I thought we played good enough in all three phases to win the game. But ultimately, we are not playing good enough to, to finish and win. We, we had a, a, our desire was to go into the game and jump out on them early and play fast-paced and try not to get behind like we'd done the last three weeks. And uh, we jump out on them 14 to nothing. And feel like we're executing like we need to execute and then we get outscored uh, 34 to 17 over the next uh, three and a half quarter stretch. It's just uh, very frustrating not only for me but for our players or you know, our seniors are the ones that's uh, I really feel the worst for because they're done you know they're, they're finished playing college football here before long and um, we get another shot at it but uh, it's just been you know last month it's not been uh, going the Tuscan Pioneer football way. Talk about how this game went on as the Tunstall and Pioneers did jump out to that big lead. But LR was able to stay within their game plan and continue to run the football. And we're taken out of what they are comfortable doing. And that's just hand the ball off or have a major heron take off as well. We'll talk about that when the Frankie DeBus Show continues right after this. Whenever there's a project to make our community a better place to live, you'll always find our local merchants right there doing all they can to help. From sponsoring the kids' ball teams to serving barbecue at a community picnic, they're always there. Be community-minded. Shop and invest locally. Greenville Federal Bank, member FDIC. Banking made easy. Community-minded, just like you. 
The best deal in the neighborhood just got better with more to love on the two for 20 meal only at Applebee's. Applebee's is a proud sponsor of the Frankie DeBus TV show and side of the Frankie DeBus radio show. Applebee's on the bypass in Greenville. There's no place like the neighborhood. Your Greenville Light and Power System and electrical distributor of TVA, serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Your Greenville Light and Power is dedicated to excellence in service and reliability. Visit online at glps.net. Welcome back to the Frankie DeBusk Show. Once again, the voice of the pioneers, Brian Staten. Tuscaloosa Pioneers and the LR Bears as they are meeting for the 14th time, all time, the first since 1924 was the first meeting. Last year, the LR Bears defeated the Tuscaloosa Pioneers by a final score of 38 to 17. Let's take a look at your first quarter highlights, brought to you by Greenville Federal Bank. Brian, again, we had the uh, mentality going in that we were going to jump on them and try to play fast-paced tempo and fast-break football for such a thing. And thought we really did a good job of that. Our uh, our kids were excited. You know, Lenore Ryan's got a really good place to play and gives you a, a true college football atmosphere. And um, that was a group right there, high school kids. I think they are elementary school kids. They had at the game. And, uh, we take the field like we're bound and determined to, to execute and win the game. Here's a great throw by Bo to, I think that's Michael or Deontay, not sure who that was, making a catch and converting, moving the chains. And here we hit, uh, I guess that's Michael again, just doing what we're supposed to do. Kids up front are playing hard. The Tuscaloosa Pioneers uh, really in their last few games have come out slow. Obviously not so slow here. You had a lot of momentum as Rashad Carter, just a catch and run, showing you his strength and determination. Rashad is a really good football player and uh, He's having a really good year, as well as a lot of our kids are, but Bo did a good job executing, and Rashad gives the extra effort here to get the ball in the end zone, and it really was a great job blocking downfield by Brian Marshall, our running back, and I'm not sure the receiver was over there at the time, but our kids did a great job blocking for Rashad to, to free up, uh, get free there in a, in a screen to get in the end zone. Rashad Carter now with 800, make that 754 yards receiving on the year. You want to talk about getting off to a, a, a very good start, element of surprise, the LR Bears didn't expect this as this onside recovery is only the second this year recovered by South Atlantic Conference team, Newberry being the other. I'll tell you what, Gareth Rollins does a phenomenal job kicking that ball that way and we sort of had a scheme going in. Kevin Weston actually coaches our kickoff unit there and we decided to, to try a little onside kick and had some success, got the ball back and uh, we're up seven to nothing. And, wanted to try to steal a possession or two, and that's what we were capable of doing. And um, we get the ball back in great, great field position, and we take the field as an offense and execute just like we did going in. This is a big time catch here by Michael Rodriguez. You know, Michael makes some great catches throughout the year, and uh, just very, very proud of his efforts. It was on third down and eight, the Pioneers convert. Again, one of the best teams, not only in the conference, but in the country converting on third downs. Run into just a little bit of a hiccup here. As Cordell goes to Fred for two yards, Fred Jones, and then Deontay Gist for just a yard. And so it's third down and seven once again with the Tuscaloosa Pioneers leading at seven. Nothing and Bo, a little improvisation right now. Nice word there, Brian, but great effort here. Great block right there by Rashad Carter getting that linebacker. And Bo does a good job of running the football and diving and getting in the end zone. You know, he's got to do those things for us in our offense if we're going to be as good as we truly want to be. And uh, we go. When Gareth goes on the field, kicks extra point, and we're up 14 to nothing. And the Pioneers have held the ball eight minutes in this first quarter, where we thought, well, if the Pioneers were able to have the football, you know, we're five minutes to a quarter, you'd be in pretty good shape. But that goes 11 plays, 65 yards, or I should say eight plays, 54 yards, 301 off the clock with the point after being good. And so it's 14 to nothing before LR and Major Heron get their hands on the ball. Here it's third down and three, gets around the right end, picks up 19 yards. Then on first and 10, Heron goes, for 27 yards before the Pioneer defense somewhat settles down. But again, Coach, it's the first time you've seen the offense, and it's really hard to practice live speed. Sure it is. I thought our kids really defensively stepped up. There's David Little making a big play, and here they try to throw the football, and we're flying around. That's Laurente Archie in on the play, and he gets a piece of the ball there. True freshman from down in Atlanta. and uh, Just really proud that we held him here to a field goal. Uh, again, it's a good push. We almost get to it, and the kicker makes a good kick. and. As we'll see throughout the game, their kicker was, I think, 6 of 12 going into the game and finished at 4 of 4 on the day. Um, this is a call that just truthfully did not go our way. And by rule, Brian, it was a you know a justifiable discussion. Uh, if the ball hits the ground right there, then we're going to get the football, but we supposedly have to 
give that young man extended opportunity of making the catch after he botches the punt. And according to the rule officials after they visited, we didn't do that. So it's 14 to three. That ball hits the ground. You kick a field goal at at worst uh, at that particular point. And I think you have the type of start you need, the type of start that puts LR into a position where they have to do a little bit more of this. Although they were successful when they threw the football, but I think you would expect more throws as Corman has his first catch of the year, his first touchdown reception of the year. And uh, as far as the LR Bears are concerned, they have their second touchdown pass of the season. Element of surprise right there at the end of the first quarter. Well, they executed. You know, it was a good throw and a good catch. And when you run the wishbone or the option like they do, uh, you got to hit those shots when you get them. And, and they did. Um, again, uh, not going our way. And they're being creative, but they're also executing. And that's one of the reasons they got a touchdown there to make it 14 to 10. The Tusculum Pioneers do lead 14 to 11 at the end of the first as LR converts on a two point conversion. I guess Coach Goldsmith thought it may come down to a field goal toward the end. Much more to come when the Frankie DeBunch Show continues right after this. Whenever there's a project to make our community a better place to live, you'll always find our local merchants right there doing all they can to help. From sponsoring the kids' ball teams to serving barbecue at a community picnic, they're always there. Be community-minded. Shop and invest locally. Greenville Federal Bank, member FDIC. Banking made easy. The best deal in the neighborhood just got better with more to love on the two for 20 meal only at Applebee's. Applebee's is a proud sponsor of the Frankie DeBus TV show and side of the Frankie DeBus radio show. Applebee's on the bypass in Greenville. There's no place like the neighborhood. Your Greenville Light and Power System and electrical distributor of TVA serving Greenville and Green County since 1945. Your Greenville Light and Power is dedicated to excellence in service and reliability. Visit online at glps.net. 